the biggest problem with electric vehicles was about to be solved. Imagine charging your car for just five minutes and then being able to drive over 300 miles. And that's not in some distant future, but like right now. Chinese battery giant CATL has just unveiled revolutionary technology that could make electric vehicle dramatically cheaper, faster to charge, and capable of working in the most extreme temperatures, ranging from 40 Fahrenheit all the way to 158. And what is the secret? Well, sodium. Yes, the same element found in the ordinary table salt, and it's about to replace lithium in millions of electric vehicles, potentially slashing costs up to 30% and triggering what experts are calling the next phase of the EV revolution. While Tesla, BYD, and legacy automakers scramble to respond, we're gonna dive deep into what this technological leap means for the future of transportation and why your next car might be powered by salt. Stay with me. This is one innovation you really cannot afford to miss. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Martina, and today we're gonna explore what might be the biggest battery breakthrough of this decade. And I'm not joking. On April 21st, 2025, at their inaugural Super Tech Day in Shanghai, Chinese battery manufacturer CATL unveiled not one, but three groundbreaking battery technologies that could transform the electric vehicle landscape. One, Nextra, the world's first mass-produced sodium ion battery the second generation Shenxing super fast charging battery, and third, the Freevoi dual power battery system. Now, before we dive into the technical details, let's understand why this really matters. So CATL isn't just any battery maker. They produce more than one third of all EV batteries worldwide, supplying giants like Tesla, BMW, Mercedes, and Volkswagen. And according to their CTO, Zhao Huan, over 18.32 million cars equipped with are equipped with CATL batteries are now running in more than 66 countries globally. When CATL makes a move, the entire automotive industry pays attention. Let's break down each of these technologies and why they matter. For years, lithium has been the undisputed king of the battery technology. It's lightweight, energy dense, and has powered everything from your smartphone to Tesla's longest range vehicles. But lithium has serious drawbacks. First, lithium is relatively rare and geographically concentrated, leading to supply chain weaknesses and price volatility. In contrast, sodium is literally one of the most abundant elements on planet Earth. It's a major component of our table salt. Second, lithium batteries require expensive metals like cobalt and nickel. Sodium ion batteries don't need these costly materials, potentially making them 30, 20 to 30 percent cheaper to produce. And third, lithium ion batteries perform poorly in cold weather, something anyone who's driven an electric vehicle in winter knows all too well. CATL's Nextra sodium batteries are a game changer here, capable of operating across a full temperature range from negative 40 all the way to 158 Fahrenheit. According to CATL, they retain 90% usable power at negative 40 Celsius, and even with only 10% state of charge remaining, there is no significant power degradation at these extreme temperatures. The Nextra passenger EV battery has an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram, comparable to lithium ion phosphate, LFP batteries that we also know well in the battery backup section. But what makes it truly revolutionary is that CATL calls intrinsic safety, eliminating combustion supporting factors at the material level, moving beyond the passive defense approach of lithium batteries. CATL's billionaire founder, Robin Zenk, wasn't mincing words when he said sodium batteries could potentially replace up to half the market for LFB batteries that CATL currently dominates. Production begins in June 2025 with smaller 24 volt batteries for heavy trucks. Batteries that boost an eight year service life, reduce life cycle by 61% compared to the traditional lead acid batteries and can start engines even after sitting idle for a full year at negative 40 Celsius. In December, full-scale production of the passenger vehicle batteries will begin as well. If sodium ion technology addresses the cost and cold weather challenges of the EVs, the second generation Zhengxin battery tackles another major obstacle 
charging time, and I really hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. The new Zhengzin battery boasts truly shocking specification, an 800 kilometer, which is about 500 mile total drive range, and most impressively, 520 kilometers of range gained from just five minutes of charging. That's 2.5 kilometers of range added every second you've connected to a charger. Now let that really sink in. Five minutes at a charging station gives you enough range to drive from Los Angeles to San Diego or from London to Manchester. This effectively eliminates one of the most significant barriers to EV adoption, the charging time. This achievement surpasses all current competitors. BYD recently announced technology providing 400 km of range from a five-minute charge. Tesla's most advanced superchargers add about 270 km in 15 minutes. Mercedes-Benz Best Offering provides approximately 325 kilometers after 10 minutes of charging. So even in rigid temperatures of negative 10 Celsius, 14 Fahrenheit, the Shanxing battery can charge from 5% all the way to 80% in just 15 minutes. And with its peak charging power of 1.3 megawatts, it's the first LFP battery to combine an 800 kilometer range with a 12C peak charging rate. CATL announced that 67 vehicles from Chinese brands including Zeker, Neo, and Avatar will feature Zhengjing technology this year, which international brands are really likely to follow very fast. CATL's third major announcement might be the most technologically sophisticated, the Freevoid Dual Power Battery System. Think of it as having two separate energy zones in a single battery pack, similar to how passenger jets have two independent engines for redundancy and safety. So this dual power architecture provides five key advantages dual high voltage capabilities, dual low voltage capabilities, dual structure design, dual thermal management, dual thermal runaway safety protection. This redundancy ensures continuous, stable, and safe power output critical for the upcoming L3 and L4 autonomous driving era where power failures could have serious safety implications. But CATL didn't stop at just improved safety. They've also developed what they call self-forming anode technology, a breakthrough at the atomic level that increases volumetric energy density by 60% and gravimetric energy density by 50%. So in plain English, this means that fitting significantly more power into the same physical battery space. CATL announced three different configuration of their dual power system. One, sodium LFP dual power battery combining the new Nextra technology with an LFP self-forming anode battery ideal for cold climates. An LFP LFP dual power battery that pairs the Zhengzing supercharging battery with an LFP self-forming anode battery achieving 1000 km range in sedans with a 3 meter wheelbase. And most impressively, an NCM NCM dual power battery that enables over 180 kilowatt hour capacity in similar sized sedans breaking through that 1,500 kilometer, which is 932 mile pure electric range barrier. The last configuration providing nearly 1,000 miles of range on a single charge would literally eliminate range anxiety entirely, matching or exceeding the range of most gasoline vehicles. You have no idea how many people still do not choose to have an electric vehicle just because of that range fear. These announcements come at a critical time for the global EV market. Despite the rapid growth, widespread adoption still faces pretty significant hurdles, high costs, charging infrastructure and limitations, and range anxiety like I mentioned. Now, CETL's innovations address these challenges head on. The sodium ion technology reduces material costs and supply chain constraints. The super fast charging capabilities minimize downtime and a dual power system with extended range eliminates the fear of running out of power. This puts tremendous pressure on competitors. BYD, China's EV giant and Tesla's rival had just announced its own fast charging breakthrough last month, claiming 400 kilometer range from a five minute charge. CATL has just now 
jump this achievement. Tesla is long considered the leader and the battery technology will need to accelerate its own development timeline or risk falling behind as well. Now, traditional automakers like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen, many of whom are actually CATL's customers, must decide now whether to adopt these new technologies or pursue their own alternatives. And smaller battery manufacturers worldwide face a difficult choice. Try to match these technology or focus on specialized niche where they can still compete. The timing of CATL's announcement comes during an increasingly geopolitical tensions, particularly between the United States and China. President Donald Trump has imposed heavy tariffs on Chinese imports, which could significantly impact the price of these batteries and the vehicles they power in the American market. Additionally, the U.S. Defense Department has placed CATL on a list of companies it claims have affiliations with the Chinese military. This allegation CATLs has strongly denied. CATL executives declined to comment on the tariff situation during their presentation, but the implications are clear. These technological advances give China a significant advantage in the global race for EV dominance. For consumers and automakers outside of China, the question becomes whether these advanced technologies will be readily available or geopolitical friction will create a two-tier market, one with access to the latest battery innovations and one without it. What's clear to me is that the battery technology has become a central battlefield in the fight for technological and industrial supremacy. Countries and companies that master advanced battery technology will have significant advantages in the transportation sector and beyond. Now, the implications of CATL's announcement extend far beyond technical specifications. Let's look over the future outlook and what it means for us the actual consumers. One, accelerated EV adoption being number one, lower cost sodium ion batteries with better performance and extreme temperatures tolerance could make electric vehicle accessible to millions more consumers worldwide, including those in very cold climate regions where EVs have struggled in the past. It also will cause end of range anxiety with vehicles capable of 800 kilometers, 1000 kilometers, or even 1500 kilometer ranges and charging times reduced to just minutes. Two major psychological barriers to EV adoptions are effectively eliminated. And finally, price competition. As sodium ion batteries enter mass production, we really should see downward pressure on EV prices across all segments. CATL's co-president for R&D, Mr. Zhuing, I hope I'm saying it correctly, confirmed that sodium ion batteries may have significant cost advantages over lithium ion batteries as the technology and the supply chain develop. And four, supply chain resilience, reduce dependence on rare minerals, improves sustainability and reduces vulnerability to supply disruption or geopolitical tensions around critical materials. New vehicle designs. As battery technology evolves, we'll likely see more innovation vehicle architectures optimized around these new power systems, particularly the dual power approach enabling new configuration. Industry analysis predict that by 2027, sodium ion batteries could capture up to 20% of the global EV battery market, with that share potentially growing to 40% by 2030 if CATL's projections hold true, which is literally five or four and a half years away. We are witnessing a pivotal moment in the evolution of electric vehicles in a very interesting time, to be frank with you. CATL's trio of innovation, sodium technology, ultra fast charging, and the dual battery system represent not just incremental improvements, but fundamental shifts in what's possible. The road to widespread EV adoption has been long and pretty challenging, but technologies like these remove many of remaining barriers. Within in the next few years, we can see electric vehicles achieve true parity with gasoline vehicles in terms of convenience, range, and cost without government subsidies, which would reduce anxiety of a lot of CEOs' minds of constant political changes from one side to another, whether you support one side or the other. As always, the future arrives unevenly. Some markets will adopt these technologies faster than others, and geopolitical considerations will influence the speed of this deployment. But the direction is pretty clear. The electric vehicle revolution is accelerating, and innovations like CATLs are providing really fast momentum. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this analysis valuable, please subscribe, comment down below, and share this video with others. And make sure to let me know in the comments, would you consider switching, switching to an EV now with this new battery technology? Maybe you already have an electric vehicle. Make sure to let us know down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much again for being here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.